Hey guys, what's up? It's Liam here to give you a few little recommendations on what to actually pick up and play on your Steam Deck. Now, when thinking about doing this, I saw a lot of videos going through tons of obvious titles, the bigger AAA AA titles. Instead of that, what I'm going to do here is give you a few choice picks of games that I have played, that I have loved, that don't cost a whole lot of money and work really well on the Steam Deck. Now I should note, not all of these have been through Steam Deck verification, but as I said before, I've played all of these on my Steam Deck and they work great. Now when I go through each of them, just keep in mind that the footage was recorded by me on my Steam Deck. There are no trailers, no desktop footage, none of that rubbish for this one. Everything you see is running on the Steam Deck and all store pages will be linked in the description. First up we have Noita, a magical action roguelite set in a world where every single pixel you see on the screen is physically simulated. So as you run through, you can quite literally set the world ablaze and watch all the pixels catch fire and just spread everywhere. Noita is an absolutely gorgeous game and you absolutely have to play it. Here's one for puzzle game fans, it's called Baba Is You. The whole idea is that you are going through each level and changing the rules of the level to beat it. You see, in Baba Is You, all the rules of the level are presented in little word blocks that you can move around to change everything about the level. So you could turn yourself into a wall, you can turn yourself into a rock, or you could just make yourself be the winning condition for the level. There are so many different variations, and there's absolutely loads of community-created levels that are fantastic as well. 
It is one of my all-time favourite puzzle games. Okay, so this one might be cheating a little bit. This is Deep Rock Galactic. Now, it's not a AAA game, it's not an AA game, it's still made by a smaller studio, but it is quite well known. However, I'm including it anyway because Deep Rock Galactic is one of the absolute best co-op first-person shooters ever made. It's all about digging deep for riches. You go through different styles of missions from gathering minerals to stealing alien eggs and all sorts of weird things in between. The world is entirely destructible too, so you can blow everything up, you can drill through everything, mine through everything, and it is just simply fantastic. Maybe we're not gonna die after all. Explosives, bikes. Loot bug looted! Eat the axe! We 
are free from the oppressor! <laughs> Next up is Undermine. This is an action-adventure roguelike with a hint of RPG mechanics tossed in as well. It's a little bit like The Binding of Isaac, except with a much more colourful and inviting setting. So you go through various rooms and floors, gathering resources, and then you just keep on going until you have boss battles. It's absolutely wonderful. For those of you that like racing games and some of the classic Micro Machines games, you should check out this. It's called Blaze Rush, and it's a dynamic arcade racing survival game. There is no health, no levelling up, you just pick the type of vehicle that you want, race around the track, and hopefully survive. It's fast, it's frantic, and it is one of my 10 year old's favourite games, and I absolutely love playing it with him. For those of you that love chasing high scores, we have Polychromatic. Now this one is, to be blunt, it's criminally underrated and underlooked by everyone. Back when it came out in 2015, myself and a friend of mine would just have high score battles because it's got online leaderboards and he's got like a million points ahead of me and I gave up at some point. But honestly, this game, if you love twin sticks where you are just chasing high scores, it is absolutely amazing.
finally, we come to a classic from 2009. This is Osmos. It's a physics-based survival game where you control this beautiful little circle and the whole idea is to suck up everything else and survive. The soundtrack on it is simply sublime. The visuals are lovely and it gives you a really great mix between casual, relaxing and frustratingly difficult because the levels are really massively varied on this. Some of them you are just flinging yourself around sucking up others. Some you are being flung around a star while some levels have others that are doing the same as you. It is an absolute classic and a true gem. That's all for today. I hope you found those few picks there interesting. As I said, I wanted to do it a little bit different to everyone else and show you a mixture of different games. So I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.